guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so let's get right into the video so here I've got two cornrows going to the back of my head and now I am taking my clip-ins these are from kinkistry hello yes that's all I wear um kinkistry clip-ins these are the curl gen x clip-ins and they are the love of my life um, I am using just one bundle for the back and if you have never used clip-ins before they are so 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 easy to use um, they open and close so you're gonna open one clip and then close it once you put it in your head as you see that I am doing right here and um, next I'm going to of course just keep on add some clip-ins and then to cover that to cover your track because I am doing a half up half down style I am going to just take a little piece, maybe about an inch and a half worth of hair from my ponytail at the top to cover that side. I'm not going to bring the, bring my hair all the way across because you're not going to see it um, with the ponytail and you'll see later in the video. But this is just to blend with the Kika Street clip-ins um, to make it just look more believable, of course. And now I'm going with the almond and avocado um, curling cream by Design Essentials. Love this stuff. And just doing two braids on each side so that um, it will blend better. So these are my absolute favorite um, clip-ins for my natural hair. Whenever you see me doing like a natural hairstyle, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, I am always wearing these clip-ins. Like I said, they are from Kinkistry and they are the Curlgenics clip-ins in 26 inches. So here I am just taking some water and I'm just going to put the top part in a ponytail, self-explanatory. Um just smoothing it out and of course there's my son who always makes an appearance in the videos so next I am taking the new drawstring ponytail from kinkistry and this is in the same um, curl pattern the curl gen X, and very easy to use this has been a game changer and a lifesaver for me um, I have been rocking this like nobody's business. So I'm just going to take one of those clips and put it into my ponytail. And then there's a back clip as well, which is what I'm doing right here. And then once you get those clips in to secure it, another way to secure, of course, is the drawstring. So you're just going to pull that out and then tighten it as much as you need to. And then take that little piece and secure it and then I just wrap that string right around the ponytail so you can't see it and then pin down with a bobby pin y'all side note I don't know how I put on two different lashes y'all look crazy but I was not redoing this video mm -mm. no not me I look a mess <laughs> oh well so next I'm taking just some water and then this heatless um, stretch cream from Shea Moisture and I'm adding that to about I think I did about five sections um, in the back I'm just gonna use my flexi rod and curl about halfway and kind of make those curls a little bit tighter at the end or however you prefer but I did mine a little bit tighter at the end um, and like I said I did about five of those in the back and you know just you want to make them kind of big and chunky and after I finished with the back, I, of course, did the ponytail up top and I just put two flexi rods into my ponytail um, using the Design Essentials as well. So I don't have a hooded dryer or anything, so I just use my blow dryer on high heat um, to speed up the drying process to get my curls in because I do not have or I did not have a lot of time. And after about 45 minutes or so of letting the flexi raw sit, I just took them out and then I fluffed my hair and that was pretty much my final look. You can even take the top part and put it into a bun or however you're feeling, but you're just going to take your flexi rods out, fluff your hair, do what you do and go about your business looking good, girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a discount code for you if you are interested in buying some clip-ins from Kinkistry. I will put it down below and of course um, in the description box as well. Don't forget to give me a like and follow me on Instagram at jmarie. And don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And I will see you. I won't see you. I'm just kidding. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.